Mike Fairlack here to entertain you with the help of a cover from Drew's Famous of an old Katrina and the Wave song. Walking out of the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, Drew's famous. I still wouldn't mind getting into a business deal with them. Uh, okay, I think that went okay. Uh, I'm referencing my last two videos. Um, I think doing it more often, my sister will slowly open up a little more. Um, some things that uh, we didn't get to uh, that did come up. Uh, as far as the last couple of videos, um, and, and I told her, I told her after the last one, the one that was over 20 minutes, that this whole recording stuff when we were growing up was more for her and me. Um, because as I did mention on that video, it's her and I that remember what those six years were like as children. And I told her that, and yeah. She's my sister. I know her, so I, I think she understood, she understood me. And I, matter of fact, I, yeah, I know she understood me. But um, I think this is a good beginning. Um, uh, one of the things uh, that came up in the video prior to the 20 minute, the over 20 minute one, the one that was like 11 minutes long, in the car, um, talking about how uh, our mother didn't want all three of us coming to live with her at once because she felt she couldn't handle it. Therefore, I was able to live with her, you know, uh, but my sisters had to continue to live in foster care. Um, I, For me personally, I remember in that time, my mother always assuming things about me that I would, I, assuming like I was already, I already knew about this or that or whatnot. And I remember that feeling growing up, especially when I started living with her, like she expected, she, she, she expected something from me that I just couldn't give. It's like, you know, I didn't have you in my life for those six years plus whatever you know, years I was in foster care and then living with family and and it's like, I guess because I was, she, she, she definitely didn't uh, hide the, one of the reasons why she was okay with me coming to live with her. Because I was a guy, a child, a son, I was her, her son. She wasn't comfortable, I guess, first of all, all three of us at once. Um, but uh, this is a good beginning, I think. Um, uh, my, both of my sisters are wards of the state um, and will be for the rest of their lives. Um, whatever normal is, <laughs> the government decided I was it. <laughs> Before I was even an adult. A decision they will come to regret. <laughs> you think I'm normal? <laughs> Little did you know, I was the one who fooled you! <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah. So, that, so that's uh, where we stand with all that. <laughs> but, uh, <sighs> oh. I think this would be a, this would be a good... Uh, a good start as far as uh, when I initially started this channel I said I had a story to tell and I'm going to continue to do to tell that story that doesn't mean we can't have fun <laughs> uh, like talking about Hellraiser <laughs> something cool yeah, we, uh, Paulie, our father, took us to see that movie when it was new at the show. I was a child, but I was like, this is awesome! This is like no other horror movie! <laughs> because at that point, I already was aware of the Freddy movies and the Jason movies. And <laughs> but Hellraiser was different! It really was, from the get-go. 
but uh, as I stated in the prior video, the the movies that came out later in the series definitely skewed away from the gore and dealt more with the psychological aspect of horror storytelling, which I welcome with open arms. <sighs> All right, I don't know. Maybe I should wrap up now. I want to do some more. Uh, I got something I want to do in regards to the new Bill and Ted movie coming out. Something, but I have to make sure because I haven't found it anywhere on social media. It's something I recorded when I was still a child. This is uh, um, back when Bogus Journey was brand new, and it was something an uh, interview with the two guys. And uh, I, I have yet to find it anywhere on social media. I can't remember if it was VH1 or MTV. I was a child when I recorded it. All I have to go on is the recording. But obviously it's stuff that doesn't belong to me, so if I share it on here, it will be justifiably claimed at some, at some point. But as a fan, honest to God fan of the movies, <laughs> I'm okay with that. I could ramble some more if you want me to, but... <laughs> uh, the reason I haven't posted in a while is uh, I'm working a lot of 12-hour shifts, so... Sometimes you just... Uh, need to mentally withdraw from the world. Even doing this is work. Making videos, it, 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 um, it's psychological work. And you just uh, you need to withdraw from time to time. Be alone with your thoughts and God, heaven forbid. That's one thing that's nice about uh, the way the world, the direction the world's going in now. You can talk about God and uh, and Jesus Christ again without being ridiculed and belittled. I thought of a campaign slogan for uh, Biden and Kamala. Yeah. Sleepy Joe and Kamala. Yeah. Uh, good, uh, good campaign uh, slogan for them. Biden and Harris. Because you know there's just not enough legal, hardworking Americans in prison on account of crimes of bad feelings. <laughs> now you think mass incarceration is a problem now? You know, just wait till <laughs> just wait till Carmel, Carmel Harold Harris becomes president of the United States. A lawyer from California. Oh my God. <sighs> Alrighty. Alright, I already got... My videos do take longer to upload on this nude phone, so what I'm doing now, you probably won't even see for at least a day or two. So I better wrap up now. Thank you for watching. Michael Parallax, signing off. Till next time.